Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of a uh, you know emergency repair, so this is being filmed on my cell phone. Uh, but you can see here we've got a pocket door. This is a, an R-Pod trailer with a pocket door to the bathroom. And uh, in our trip back home, it fell off of these uh, little hinges up here on this C-channel. So uh, these are the uh, or hinges, uh, rollers in the C-channel. So you can see it's got a couple of the screws left over, but uh, when we pull this door out, so to pull this door out, we're just going to kind of pull this out carefully and bring it out at an angle. And then you can see, you can see on the top right here where those screws, they just pulled out. This is just like a fiber board. And so uh, they just pulled straight out. So we're going to go back in it with some heavier screws, some, some larger screws and uh, see if that holds it up. If it doesn't, I mean, you could always drill this out, put a toggle bolt in there, uh, you know, maybe do some expanding mollies or something. So we're gonna try those larger screws first, and then if we have to, resort to those other things. So let's go ahead. I, I'm gonna show you how to take these off, and then we will put those back on top of the door. So if you're looking at these pieces here, you can see it's got this little latch, right? On one side, there's no latch over here. There's a latch there, and the way that works is you unhinge that, it slides around, and then this slides off and into place. So um, you want to make sure that you get these going in the same direction, uh, just for me, for aesthetic reasons. But you can see how that works. It's just a little clamp that locks around that piece there. So once we get these off, and they might be a little tough, you might need a flathead screwdriver to do that, and then, right, slides and the direction it comes out. But once we get these off, we're just gonna put these back on top of the door, screw those in, and uh, hopefully that's all we have to do. We have our screws, and we're using these as just a pan head Phillips. You wanna use the pan head because you want it to be flat where it rests on that uh, bracket up there. Uh, these are a number 10 size, uh, inch and a half long. So we have four of these. They fit through the hole, which is important, just barely. So we gotta screw these in just a little bit. Um, any bigger than that, you would have to drill that out. So hopefully they don't interfere with that piece sliding back in here because we have to be able to slide that past that to get that back on the bracket that's hanging. So um, we're going to try this out. Like I said, if it doesn't work, then we can resort to other measures. So we're just going to screw these in. Like I said, they're a little bit larger. You could add glue if you felt that that was necessary, but these are biting really well. Uh, they are an inch and a half. I don't know if the length really matters because this is a hollow core door. So it reaches a point where it's no longer biting anything. It's just a longer screw. All right, so we're gonna line this up. You wanna make sure that you get this bracket centered. So you want it to be perfectly centered so that your door rides uh, right in the middle of that pocket. And so we're gonna do this on the other side, put the other one on, and then we should be good to hang it. All right, Jay, you can stop that there. We got those two top pieces on here. So I've got these open. You notice these are on the outside uh, because I don't wanna be trying to unhook these or hook them up while standing in the bathroom. But I'm gonna hook this back one up first. Right, because I got to be able to grip this and lift it and so with that lifted just kind of put that into place see that fits right in that groove Let's see if I can get you a better view you can come in up here and you can see that slides into there right into that channel that I showed you and then that just locks into place once you do that your door's good to go again so it opens and closes make sure everything's running in the track nice and level, which it is, All right? And you can just button that back into place. So if you found that helpful, make sure that you hit that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, you wanna check out some of my other stuff, maybe consider subscribing. So uh, it's not a big deal if you don't. I mean, you know, come back every once in a while and uh, check out what's going on. So again, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Really quick, uh, because 
things like this do happen when you're going down the road. We got lucky that this happened on the way back and we saw it when we got back home. But if you were heading to a destination and this happened, uh, for that reason, I do like to carry just, you know, spare screws around. Those number 10 inch and a half Phillips, um, you know, pan head screws, they fit a ton of different situations on this trailer. So um, just something to keep in mind.